Hello YouTube, this is Christonian here and we're back for another indie showcase. In this episode, we are going to cover Cult. It is Awakening of the Old Ones. This is a game on Kickstarter. I backed around the 1000 mark. He was looking at getting $5,000 and now he is at $25,000. I thought I would cover it because it looked great. It is a Dwarf Fortress kind of game where it gets a randomly generated, procedurally generated story and everything. So let's jump into it. Uh, the next two to five minutes we'll cover uh, the cult as the game itself and I will also cover the one and only developer behind it. So this is Christonian here, covering Cult. Cult is an open-ended role-playing game set in a user-generated world with a strong focus on storytelling, exploration, and experimental interaction. In simpler terms, it is about exploring a richly f f fleshed out fantasy world unique from any other with procedurally generated stories, myths, legends, civilizations, and creatures, gods, and, well, basically everything. Cult is one part role-playing game and one part experiment into the possible depth of procedural generation. And one of, my, one of the developer's goals with this project is to intertwine computer-driven storyline with random content in a way that appears as seamless as possible to the player. So that's a pretty much summarization of uh, Cult. Uh, his inspirations, of course, are Dwarf Fortress, Elder Scrolls, Darklands, and even Crusader Kings. He's also been heavily influenced by uh, 90s games like Chrono Trigger, Secret of Evermore, and Final Fantasy III. So now we'll jump over and look at the developer. His name is David Hagar, or Hagar. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. He says, I am a young uh, amateur code hobbyist in my mid-20s. Initially, I started uh, out creating Cult simply as a project to uh, work on in my spare time, but it continued growing and evolving over the past two years and taking up more and more of my time until I realized it was something I wanted to work on full time, if possible. I've been a gamer since a very young age, and when my father brought home an old Tandy PC, I started playing with my titles. Yeah, I think that's what it says. Oh, what's happening here? Give me a sec. Technical difficulties. Yep, yeah, titles that most people probably don't even heard of. That's what it's saying. Uh, even remember anymore. Currently, I'm going back to college to finish off my degree in computer science. Although I rather, uh, really rather work independently of any large company and survive on my own. If there are any other questions, feel free to ask them. And if you guys ask them through the video, I will forward them on to him. And maybe we'll have an update video. So now to jump into the game. So I'm going to minimize that. You guys might have saw that for a second. So we'll go world generation. So it says press G to generate the map or press the actual button. <laughs> And I like the music. So that wasn't bad. I said two to five minutes, and we're into it four minutes in. So right now it says it's generating the terrain. I have it on the basic settings still for uh, creating uh, map sizes, but you can go under your custom any folder to, uh, to mess with it, and you can really crash your computer if you make it like super, super big. So here we go, the land of Kamhi. Long ago, the world was populated by the ancient Keen, but the mysterious catastrophe now known as Sergasa ended the reign of the Keen forever. 
So it's actually just randomly coming up with Keen as a name and all that kind of stuff. So now it's adding terrain, deserts, swamps, forests, snow, forests, glaciers, shrubs, and now it's adding the rivers and lakes. Adding mountains, adding caves. So here we go. I think we'll go, uh, yeah, scale mount. There we go. So this kind of gives us, oh, I probably just pressed it too many times. Uh, this gives you an idea of our shape of our continents. This kind of looks like it might be connected. So we have, that might be by its own. There's some nice mountains in there, snow. I'm pretty sure if we go unscaled and we can move around. I wonder if, there we go, yeah. Hi-ho. So there's mountains, caves, forests. So I just want to get into an area like this that we like, and then we'll actually watch it grow. So it says to move on to feature naming, press N, or to view scaled map, press S. So I think the scaled map is just the same. Yeah. Ah, oh, put us back in the snowy lands. So I just want to get into a land that we can actually watch grow as more and more stuff comes in. So we'll watch this land right here, and we're going to press N. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. I should have probably put a mountain in here. Oh, no, we are getting some names here. And I think, yeah, you can still move around even when it's naming. So the plains of Yasaurus, the highlands of Quirfalak, and Quageni Forest. Uh, naming is complete. Move on to the creature generation by pressing C, otherwise press G, or click to generate a new map. So you, at any time, if you didn't like it, you could uh, tell them to create something else. Uh, also, just to expand on the Kickstarter part of it, uh, it is $10 to get into the alpha, and you will get all the alphas right up to the beta. Or you can pay $15, and you will get the beta. Look at all the creatures. Cool. Um, you will get the beta, or all the alpha, all the beta, and the full version of the game. So it's just 5 bucks more. So it's a way to like test try it, and then... If you really like it, you can spend the five bucks more for the full game. I backed for the full 15. So it says creating creatures, creating spirits, now establishing biomes. This may take a minute. Uh, dispersed, disperse the creatures, now spreading the creatures. This might take a while, and it's at 76 mm -hmm. of 100. And I will exit everything here just so we don't get another wah wah while mm. our video is going. Uh, 90 of 100, so we're close. And uh, if you go to his Kickstarter, you'll see that he reached a whole bunch of goals, and one of his goals was to get a very good graphics tile set, so it'll be looking good soon. Uh, to move on, you can now do H for history or press uh, G again to generate. That's the only one I don't like because it's so close together, the H and the G, that you might mess up and then you have to go through the whole process again. So now we're creating the civilizations, which I like the most. So now we have the Kingdom of Sidran. And usually you can actually see the borders. Ooh, look at that. The Pace and Kings. Oh, there we go. There's the borders. So these are towns, and those are castles. I hope my mouse is coming up very uh, good on this. It would kind of suck, but that's okay. Uh, spreading sieves. This may take a while. Year 1500. History finished. Saving world. So that's why this thing has changed, I think. 
it's just trying to back up all the data from now on so when we jump into the game it should be fine world generation is done press exit oh to exit press backspace or right click So, and then like each one of these like different colors or different like principalities and they can come up with any religion or kingdom or anything like that. It's kind of cool. I'm just kind of trying to look for this guy's capital. There we go. Najarin clan. Gogar. It actually looks like desert. Okay. So. Oh, maybe I didn't. Yeah, there we go. So you had to create the world first, and now we can actually start the game. I thought I was spazzing out there for a second. So now you'll see what the actual game looks like itself. You can build, create a whole bunch of stuff. I will leave a link to his videos, his channel. Uh, starting cities. So select a location in which you begin your journey in the world of Kame. You may choose from any city or town. Uh, I'm just going to check my mixer for a second. Okay. Uh, you may choose any city or town by selecting its entry on the left. You can navigate through the thing. So... I don't know if I want to start in a village or city. Hmm. So right click to go back, left click to go forward. Well, let's actually look. I wonder if I can uh, press S. I wonder if it's that smart. No. I gotta find a city that I'm interested in, or a village. I wonder if I go city. Yeah, there we go. Ha ha, cool. Nope, you can't curse through them, but that's okay. You have to actually click on them. I think I'm gonna look for one that's deep. Territory. Like that one's not too bad, so you know there won't be any wars on the border. Ooh, that's not bad either. King. And I actually like it. Because you're like by king, you know? Tall. Living tall. Papa. Living Tapa. Member. Member. Fonds. Let's see. Holy, look at the towns. 115 towns. Ooh, kill fire almost. Cast. And learnest. Oh, there's that Gogar. Radiant. That one's not too bad either. Uh, I'm going to go with that cane. And this is a different cane, I think. Uh, keep going back. Yeah, that came. And we're going to build a base and all that kind of stuff. You can build, create, everything you can think of. And so your journey begins. Generating map. One moment, please. So he just introduced the construction thing. I believe he hasn't done a... Uh, I hope it doesn't crash. It's giving me an issue. It's popping back in. So there we are. Now this is like the zoomed out view, I'm pretty sure. So when we move around, we're actually covering a great distance. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe this is first person. Oh, okay, ground view uh, gets rid of the trees and stuff like that. Yeah, so there's our actions. That's why when I came up to the tree, he didn't do anything. 
So what you have to do is you press right click. We can climb, fell, strike, and look. Let's try climbing. Doesn't seem to have done anything, so let's fall it. Fall it, fall it, fall it. So as you can see, now the tree is gone. Some shrubbery has landed. And we have some logs, so we can examine. You chop down a tree. Begin chop down a tree. Okay. Uh, didn't say anything. So we're gonna pick it up. You now have five thousand and one logs. What? Oh, maybe they give us a whole bunch of stuff right away, and we can build right away. Oh. oh. Oh, this is a tutorial. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So use your mouse to click around. I don't think we can use the... Oh, we can use the number pad, which is nice. You can hold it, but it's just slow. But the pathfinding is actually quite good. Like, I can just click. Strike that tree. So I'm gonna fell again. And we're gonna gather up some wood. And uh, he is supposed to have a video on uh, construction to uh, lay it out. To uh, teach the basics. Go to this tree or whatever. So I'm just gonna pick up all of this wood for now. And we can construct in a bit, maybe in the next episode, about uh, pretty much anything you can think of, really. Wonder how our inventory is here. So we have glass, too. So yeah, he's given us a whole bunch. 5,000 stone, 5,000 rock. So we can build at least a decent amount right off the get-go. Uh, let's look at options. Got our video. I don't think these work yet. That's why they, uh, they don't do anything. Because if you want a custom-sized uh, view like I've done, you have to uh, um, go under the any file and mess around with the settings. I like the waving grass though, eh? Or I wonder if that's shadows of clouds, I don't know. Oh! It's like I got to the edge. Ha! Huh. You want to leave this region? Yes. So maybe this will bring us to the zoomed out view. Here we go. And we can look around for that town. Uh oh, how do we get back in? Well, this is Cristona in here, and we just zoomed out out of the city of Cain. I hope you guys enjoy this coverage. Again, you can get the game for $10 for, uh, that gets you into the alpha. And there's another city right there, so let's go there. Uh, the beta is also available for 15 and I believe there is a tech demo on his site for free. This is another tech demo, but I think it's a little bit later on because it gives you construction, all different kinds of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, insight into this game. It's available on Kickstarter right now for another probably five days. Um, but he'll be around forever and ever with his website. It's up. Uh, community is spreading and it's looking good. So this is Chris Tonian here signing off. Uh, feel free to give comments and advice if you've either played cult or you've seen someone else on the web playing cult and have some neat tricks. Feel free to post. 
um, and all your comments and thumbs up make our videos spread around the internet faster. So this is Christonian here saying thank you guys for coming by and hope to see you soon. Bye!